I have identified four core emotional concerns that we as humans share with horses. In identifying those core concerns will help you better understand your horse and balance your nature as a human with your horse's nature. Let's begin. I'm going to bring out Tilly, a Clydesdale paint. Get back, get back, get back, get back. Good girl. Now, that's the first core emotional concern is appreciation. And when she got back and she did it right, I said, good girl. And she began to lick and chew. And in order to enhance that appreciation, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to rub her neck when she does the right thing. What this does, research has found that when you rub the neck, it actually releases a chemical response, just like her mother did when her mother licked her neck. It's important to appreciate your horse, letting them know that they've done the right thing. The second core emotional concern is status. Status means our position in the herd. You as the human must be at all times the herd leader. She is genetically required to have a herd leader. And this is a herd of two, you and your horse. Me and Tilly, we are a herd of two. She needs me to be the leader, or if I'm not, then she has to be the leader. And that is a point of stress and concern for horses. Horses would rather be in a position of comfort. They are looking for the leader. When your horse rubs on you and moves your feet, that isn't affection. That is disrespect. But that horse is disrespecting in a way that, are you the leader today? And if you're not, I'm going to move your feet. There's the key. He who moves the other's feet first is in control. So I must be the one that controls the movement of her feet in order to identify myself to her as the herd leader. We all have status. As humans and our jobs in our home, you have a position of status. With your herd of two, your status is herd leader. Always, always, always. The third is autonomy. Now what I mean by autonomy is we as humans have the, the opportunity of free will, free choice. We decide yes or no in our lives most of the time. A lot of things are dictated to us, but for the most part, we can make those choices. Well, in the animal world, they also have autonomy as well. They make the choices too. I'm going to set up choices for Tilly to make. I am going to support her in making the right decision. I will not force her to make the right decision. I will not go one, two, three, you make that decision or else. I'm going to continue to support her honoring her autonomy to make the right decision. Horses learn from the release of pressure, not the pressure itself. So when I get the right answer from her, allowing her to have autonomy, then I release my pressure, whether it's my body language, and that's what we're going to be talking about today, body language and how horses speak to one another with body language. Now the fourth core emotional concern is role. We all have a role. In our jobs at work, we have a role. In our homes, we have a role. Sometimes my role is bookkeeper. Sometimes my role is cook, laundress. The, the list goes on. But our roles keep changing. Today, my role is to be the teacher. I am teaching her what she needs to know in order to be in my herd of two. She recognizes my status as the leadership, she will, and then she'll identify with my role that I am the teacher and her role is student and to be learning today and to be the follower. So her, her status is follower and her role is to be the student.